Hello everyone, welcome back to another redstone video. In today's video, I will show you this lava farm that I designed, which will automatically refill this cauldron. So when you empty it, you wait one second, and a new full cauldron comes back up. If the next cauldron is not a full cauldron, it will simply cycle past it until it finds a cauldron that is full. All of this works with a new 1.17 mechanic, which allows pointed dripstone to refill cauldrons with lava. So, what do we need to build this farm? All the materials you'll need can be found in this chest, but can also be found, as always, in the video description. As you can see, you do need some pointed dripstone for this. If you're struggling to find enough pointed dripstone, I have also made two farms for this. One very small and simple one, and another one with high efficiency. I will link both of those down below in the description as well. So let's get right into building it. First, you place down a sticky piston with a redstone repeater into it and you set it on 4 ticks. And behind the repeater you place a redstone dust. Facing into the repeater you place an observer with a block right next to it. And also next to the redstone you place a solid block. On top of this solid block you place an observer facing upwards with a redstone lamp on top of it. On top of this redstone lamp you then again place a redstone dust. Then facing into this redstone lamp you place a redstone comparator with a solid block behind it. Then on top of the redstone comparator, as well as on the redstone, you again place two solid blocks. Facing in the top solid block, you place another redstone comparator, and you can place two solid blocks over here. Then in the back, all in the bottom, you place a solid block with a redstone dust on top, and finally a redstone torch against the redstone lamp. Then we go back to the front, and on top of the sticky piston, we place another sticky piston with a cauldron on top. This is pretty much the cauldron retraction system done, and this is also a good moment to test it. An easy way to test it is just by filling it with some water. This should instantly place it in the top position and this redstone lamp should turn on. If you then empty it, it should again retract. When continue building this lava farm, I highly recommend filling it with some water or maybe some lava in order to keep it in the on state so that the redstone clock will not keep ticking and interfere with your work. So now that we finished the first part of the build, we will have to continue with the cauldron cycle. To do this, we go to the back, to this redstone that we placed here previously. And then we go out one more and place a redstone comparator over there. Then we right click the redstone comparator once to turn on this light. Then we put a solid block in front of it. And on the left side, we go out like this. Then you put two redstone over here with a target block so that it connects over there. Then from the target block into the redstone comparator, you place a redstone repeater and set it on four ticks. Then on top of this target block, you can place a piston facing towards the comparator. Then on the right side, you go out two and then up one. And this gap in between here, you place a redstone repeater and set it on three ticks. Then on top of this block, you place a redstone dust. And above the repeater, you place a piston facing forward. And from this bottom right block, you go out six and then up one. And then in this gap, we first place a redstone repeater on one tick. 3 redstone dust, and then another redstone repeater, but this one on 3 ticks. And on top of this block, we place a piston facing towards the sticky piston. Then we go out 1, and 3 over, and up 1, so that we can place the last normal piston, which faces to the back, and this would complete the piston loop. And we just have to connect it to the other redstone by placing a repeater over here on 2 ticks, and 2 redstone dust like this. Once you've done this, you just need to fill it in with cauldrons. You do this by starting against this solid block and going like four like this. Then you can place one against this redstone torch and then the last five like this. So from the top, it should now look something like this with a gap in that corner, that corner, and that corner. Now it is a good moment to add in a floor and a back wall around this top cauldron so you can see what the final result will pretty much look like. All we need to do now is place the pointed dripstone that will fill these cauldrons in the back with lava. To do this, you leave one space above each cauldron. There, you place solid blocks. Then on the bottom of these solid blocks, you place pointed dripstone above each and every cauldron. Then on the top of those blocks, you completely surround it with other blocks so that you can fill them in with lava. Now, over time, these cauldrons will slowly fill up with lava and then you can start up your machine. And there you go. That's your lava farm fully finished. 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you're interested in more redstone tutorials, consider subscribing. Then as always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.